Welcome to part three of Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R3 demo on eProcurement. Last time, in parts one and two, we covered creating an RFQ, configuring items on an RFQ, and bidding from the vendor portal. Part three of our e-procurement demo will cover unsealing bids, entering sealed bid amounts, scoring, comparing, and awarding bids. We are now logged in as Inga, the purchasing manager, and the only person that has the role privileges to unseal a bid. Let's go to procurement and sourcing. Under Common and Request for Quotations, click All Requests for Quotations. Open the Sealed Conference Room Upgrades RFQ. Expand the Vendor Fast tab and verify that Fabricam Supplier, the vendor from our last scenario, is now listed among the vendors because of the request to bid via the vendor portal. Open the bid by clicking the hyperlink under the RFQ column. We'll need to verify that the bid is sealed and that the amounts and quantities cannot be seen. The yellow notification bar at the top verifies that for us. Click Close. In order to unseal the bid, we'll need to ensure that the current date and time are after the selected expiration date and time on the RFQ. It should now be after the expiration date. We'll double click the RFQ. The Unseal Bids option is enabled. Click Unseal Bids. Click Yes to confirm unsealing of the bids. It will now be possible to see the amounts and quantities submitted by the vendor. In the typical procurement scenario, unsealing of bids occurs concurrently with the physical unsealing of submitted envelope bids. If the purchasing agent receives any bids on the RFQ through other methods, such as mail, email, or fax, they can be entered in AX2012 R3 only after the electronic bids are unsealed in AX 2012 R3. Now we'll enter Rain Projector's bid. Enter unit prices for the lines. Now we'll need to complete the questionnaire. Now open to score Fabricam Supplier's bid. After you have entered the scores, click Close. Now let's compare replies. Enter the ranks on the header lines. Notice that you can export this in Excel for sharing. You can also show by lowest net amount, by line, and by lowest total price. Let's check the items we'd like to accept. Press OK and verify that a purchase order is created for the winning bid. This concludes our demo on eProcurement.